This is a fishing trip I went on with a good friend of mine, Chris Elliott. We were fishing in the end of July on a river about 25 minutes away from the main lodge at Ivanhoe Lake, fishing for brook trout. And if you notice, we're both wearing head nets, and it's because the bugs in this river were just absolutely incredible. Uh, which was good, though, because it meant that the brook trout had lots of feed, and it was raining that afternoon, so we both had our rain gear on. And you'll also notice that I had a small depth finder on the floor, which is essential for finding the deep holes. So what, look, no, this is cool, check that out. <laughs> you, you know want? what this is? This is the best lure. Just about any kind of fish. What is it? Okay, shut it off for a second. What's up? This is Joel Terrio Fishing Show. And wait, wait, wait. What is this? What are you talking? Oh, what'd you do? What did I do? What did you do? Beep. What was that? That was something crazy. Your first trophy trout. So tell us, who are you? What is, what is your name, mystery man? Leonard. He wants time to think. I can tell already. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna cast out here as well. But and you are Matthew Joel Leonard. Oh, just a little bit of trout fishing on the. Hey, why are you dressed like that? So I'm here. What? Why are you dressed like that? Beep. Kid, <laughs> holy. A lot of bugs on him, eh? Pardon my language. Pardon my French. Maybe we shouldn't take that, eh? Oh well. And. There's the brookie pond right there. That's what we're looking at. That's the next hit. We hit this next. I do believe so. We're hitting shallow water right now on the downside of this beaver dam. And the bugs are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Are you getting bit though? Not yet. A little bit on the hands. Yeah, a little bit on the hands. What's the game plan? What are we doing? Game plan is to go upstream to that hole there, but there's some... What's up? Jack has to be beside me. It's not going to look... Oh. I know, let's go. They're going, they're crazy up there. They've been jumping. We're into a hole. There goes another one. They're hitting the mayflies. They've started already. There's no mayflies. Yeah, they, I saw one hatch. It's the perfect time to get out with the fly rod. Look at that, there they go again. And the black flies are ridiculous. Hey, why are you dressed like you are? Because <laughs> the black flies oh, are ridiculous. Look at, look at this, eh? Just look. Everywhere. Terrible. Let's see on his head. Oh, he doesn't shower. That's how he gets away from it. But everybody else has them on him. What's that for you? Okay, wait a second. Let's see. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Look at how huge it is. Isn't that monstrous? Look at that definition. Look what do you give that? You give that a good solid, uh, how, how much inches? Four inches? Two I'd inches? Say six inches. Six and a half, seven. That's what they say you are, but I doubt yeah. that is. <laughs> hmm. So we're sitting at a beaver dam. Just crossed a hole. On my back side, it's deep in the front. He's getting them too. The little ones are everywhere. They're just crazy. Hey, well, how many have we caught so far? Six. Half a dozen? Half a dozen? Half a dozen, probably. Hmm. So we never did get a big monster that day, but that's really typical of fishing in the streams. It just doesn't seem to be an enough of a food source to grow huge trout. You know, you might occasionally get a one or a two pounder, but they're generally smaller in the streams.